The edtech industry was seen as the next big thing not too long ago. The surge in the digital market was an open invitation to the different startup owners and financiers to invest heavily in the booming association between education and technology. The prospect of merging the two seemed extremely lucrative and was thus proved so in 2020 at the onset of the much unwelcoming COVID-19 pandemic. But the same industry is struggling now to keep up with the rising trends. Cutthroat competition unhealthy working conditions and many other causes have led to this sorry state of affairs what are we talking about in this video stay tuned with me until the video ends to know about this issue and make sure you subscribe to news hamster for more such content ahead to understand the fall of the edtech market it is important to have a look at the rise of it the relevance of such platforms is closely knitted to the general inclination of indians towards a handful number of examples and institutes such as the famous iits and the government competitive exams like the upsc and the state public service commission exams this market as a whole always existed in india but in a completely different form the physical coaching classes would have a geographic and logistical limitations and the profit although very lucrative at first was directly proportional to the number of students who got enrolled in these institutes the limited reach of these classes hampered the growth of their finances heavily the digital boom which was majorly led by reliance jio added several markets on the digital front and created spaces where the physical classes could be brought down to the devices that were used by the students what this did was that it cut down the majority of the logistical cost for these institutes the student zone which was earlier determined by the geographical feasibility now truly went global and the margins of profit increased multifold considering how deep the roots of digital soon reached in our country the marketing exercise also moved from being a physical to a digital one in no time whatsoever thus saving huge amount of rupees on several fronts also getting heavy profits these positives attracted investors from all around the globe to take a share of this emerging gold mine in india the issue that hampered this booming fertile land was one which followed every digital trend the competition started increasing multifold as the market based out of the internet provided equal opportunities to every single stakeholder all one needed was a reliable device a reliable personnel the ability to invest in a bare minimum amount of money and maintain consistency in their content this phenomena showed direct tangible results when digital marketing became expensive considering the tremendous competition in the field as a result of the constant increase in the competition the price of the courses started increasing as well this was done to meet the rising demands of the market although a huge chunk of the market covers the iit and upsc coaching it is often ignored that a majority of the chunk of the market is also made up of the school going students the pricing of the edtech applications soon increased than the average annual school fee for the same product the traditional tuition methods have always done a brushing up of the school curriculum however this does not quite happen in the edtech platforms as the curriculums are often exclusive This activity might in a way help the student better but it does not fit to the notion of what the tuition classes look like for the parents. This has led to a rather ironic situation wherein there is enough dearth of potential investors but the lack of long term security in such type of a financial model especially post the pandemic when the schools have opened. Now this has affected the players in the market. Lido for instance announced that the company would be shutting down due to the lack of funds. The likes of An Academy, Vedantu, Byju's owned edtech startups White Hat Junior laid off a number of employees thus hinting at a grim period moving ahead. Now Byju's is an extremely interesting trajectory. Touted to be one of the most valuable startups in India, Byju's has got its marketing game up big time with the likes of the Indian cricket team, FIFA World Cup, so on and so forth. But the company now is struggling big time to keep its revenue expectations up and avoid heavy losses. The reason for the failure of Byju's ranged from the loss incurred by the companies under the Byju's to the work culture that they provide. White Hat Junior, one of the most ambitious companies under Byju's umbrella, started off with the aim of teaching 9 to 10 year olds coding. While this prospect attracted the Indian parents a lot, they couldn't quite get back the desired results. This affected the rating of the company and has potentially become a major loss incurring prospect. under the byju's umbrella there have been several examples to hint the toxic sales culture at the byju's as a result of the tremendous pressure on sales executive to sell the course the frequency of the fake sales has also increased as a means to save their jobs the sales executive coordinates among themselves to buy the course but the same is reflected in the annual report of the company where the numbers tell the truth 
An academy which went on to be one of the biggest players in the UPSC market has also shut down its doors for many new investors and also have laid off a lot of employees, resulting in a major chunk of the job being taken up by themselves and the core team. How will the attend companies get over this period? Or will it even be possible for them to do so, considering that we have said Tata bye-bye to the pandemic and we are all okay with offline classes and there is no scope for us sitting at home and listening to our lectures online. Let us know your thoughts on the same in the comment section below and share this video if you find it interesting and helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to News Hamster for more such content ahead. Thanks so much for watching.